Good afternoon and welcome to Park Essler in Newry here for what will be a very interesting first round game in the Little Lady Ladies National Football League Division 3. Crucial game for these two sides. It's a very, very even group with these two sides, newly promoted Loud and of course for Mana, perennial rivals of down here in Ulster at intermediate level. So uh very very close game very very close group and we're off to we're off to what should be a very interesting start this afternoon with down and roscommon i'll start by taking you through the two teams and we'll begin with the down side that's going to line out here the first competitive game under the guidance of new manager ronan mccarton who took over during the winter so uh taking through the taking you through the down team first and we have a debutante in goal caroline kennedy comes in to make her first start for the Moran County in goals. In generally from the back, seven is comparatively inexperienced. We also have a debutante left corner back, Alice McAlay, very talented young 19 year old. She comes in to make her first start for the county. Uh, alongside, there is some experience at full back, of course, in Kira Byrne of the Saval Club, and then Orna Kelly at right corner back. Half back line, Orla Duffy, Cara McCardle, and Natalie McKibben. Then the Carry Duff pairing at midfield, Megan Doherty, who takes over the captaincy this year, and Una Lavery beside her. And of course, plenty of scoring power up front, particularly down the middle, where you have Jessica Foy at centre forward, Natasha Ferris at full forward. Beside those, we have Leisha Duffy and Aoife Keown on the wings, with Orla Swale and Sarah Doherty in the corner. So down lining out as selected for this contest. We'll take you through the Roscommon team now. And again, we have new management on the Roscommon side as well. Ollie Lennon taking over. He's been a hugely successful club manager in the Roscommon club scene. Guided Kilbride to five senior championships in a row. Didn't happen for them this year. Clon finally unseated them. But uh, it's a rather remarkable achievement. You win your first ever county, county senior title five years ago. And you go and you add five more in a row with it. So Ollie's first game in charge of Roscommon. He's got plenty of experience on board. And starting from the from the goalkeeper position where Helena Cummins has been a very very strong performer for the county for a considerable amount of time uh, Anya McGrath is making her senior debut very very impressive for St Bridget's this year she comes in at right corner back with Rachel Brady at full back and Megan Kelly in the left corner half back line a new birth for Rachel Fitzmaurice uh, proven dual player a very very impressive performer very energetic very fit very lively centre back very different role for her probably a kind of a horses for courses decision to put her on on Jessica Foy I would imagine time will tell we'll see Roisin Wynn has been one of the very Im has been hugely impressive as a young performer in the last couple in the last uh, couple of years she's come on at leaps and bounds she's on the right wing with Saoirse Tiemann on the left and then on the midfield, interesting pairing here, Kate Nolan from the St. Bridget's Club and Lisa O'Rourke. Uh, Lisa O'Rourke, of course, has played for us, has played for us common previously, but also well known. She's an Irish underage amateur boxing champion and uh, understandably, and that's at, that's at significant weight. So she will be a very strong physical presence in the middle of the park. And of course, sister to Irish Olympian Aoife O'Rourke. Uh, fo forward line then, Fiona Tully at centre forward. She comes back into the panel this year, has played for us common previously very very impressive for Kilbride Caroline Conway on the left wing and Laura Fleming making her 100th appearance for Roscommon this afternoon and uh, she lines out on right wing inside forward line then Neve Shanahar very very impressive also called in from the Kilbride club Neve Feeney top of the left and Ashling Hanley hugely impressive corner forward still only 17 years of age but uh, has been an, has absolutely lit up the Roscommon football scene since coming in so Ashling Hanley will be top of the right and uh, if you're keeping an eye on the uh, schools championships later in the year I can guarantee you she'll be a very very strong performer with the convent in Roscommon so that takes you through the teams we're waiting now the two sides doing their warm up i can tell you that on the drive down it was a little bit mild and a little bit mild but still a little bit wet but uh, i'm told we've had very very heavy rain overnight pitch seems to be holding up well here at park essler great for the great for a game like this to get into what is of course the down county ground uh, there's a few county grounds in action this afternoon um, as we prepare here and it looks like we're going to have the national anthem and the national anthem this afternoon will be s the national anthem will be sung this afternoon by um but our own we pause now for our own naveen
fantastic work there and it was actually Aaron Sands from the Saval Club who sang that I'm going to issue my apologies to Aaron because uh, quite literally what happened is I went down to find out who was actually going to be uh, who was going to be singing the national anthem I was told I wrote it down on my program and I wrote it down on the back of the program and then taped the program to the desk so I couldn't find where I had written it down so my apologies to Aaron there and uh, a teachable moment for yours truly I'll make sure to make my notes in much more accessible places and not tape them facing down onto a desk so uh, both sides in a huddle here obviously will bring you what positional changes we can see as soon as we see them uh, referee for this afternoon up and coming referee from Monaghan David Hurson <coughs> so he's taking charge of the game here and uh, no real wind advantage to speak of um, I'd have to say the flags are fairly still here so I can't imagine that there'll be any huge wind advantage like I said it'll be soft ground it looks like um, it looks like Roscommon are going to shoot in towards the dressing room end or shoot from right to left as you're looking at it here. And again, we'll identify the positional switches when we see them. Definitely the down full back line looks like it's uh, as named. Uh, I'm looking at def it definitely looks like Megan Doherty and Una Laverty are indeed going into midfield. So they're keeping it pretty much according to program from what I can tell on the downside. And similarly on the Roscommon front, uh, the full back line yet yeah, that all pretty much looks like they are lining out as selected on the program as well Kate Nolan and Lisa O'Rourke lining out at midfield actually it looks like Laura Fleming has gone into midfield so there is a switch Laura Fleming has gone into midfield and Kate Nolan gone out to the wing but we'll keep an eye to see if that's permanent because uh, that could be just a switch for the throw in it would be unusual I would imagine Laura Fleming she certainly will be a very attacking player as the ball is thrown in by David Hurston and we're underway Straight away, he's giving a free against Lisa, or, or actually going in for the throw-in there. It looks like Neve Shanahan went in for the throw-in with Caroline Conway gone into the full forward line. So we'll have to just identify if that's going to be a permanent switch or if it's a change. But either way, down on the attack now, Leisha Duffy driving down the right wing. Squares up into Laura Fleming. Good ball inside. Chance now for Orla Swale. Feeds it outside. First chance of the game for Natasha Ferris. Hooks that kick in with the right foot, but hooks that one wide of the target. <coughs> Hooks that one wide of the target and we're uh, we're back and underway and we're back and underway and waiting for a first kick out which comes out and it's shot out by Helena Cummins collected by Lisa O'Rourke and worked out to the right wing. Ball being worked out of defence now. Carried by Saoirse Tymon and Kate Nolan takes possession. Carrying it over towards the right flank. Lisa O'Rourke, bit of an awkward hand pass but she gets it away. Good work by Roscommon. It's slow progress up the field but the referee says Roisin wins. She jumped into that tackle. And he, it's a turnover ball and possession back for the home side here. Chance for Down to build up another attack. Ball now taken on by Natalie McKibben. Strong run coming up through the back line. Typical strong, powerful run by Cara McArdle. Fed in. Another chance now for Natasha Ferris. Dinks that ball over the top. Leisha Duffy hooks the kick with the left boot. Excellent strike from Leisha Duffy. Straight between the posts. And she opens the scoring for Down with an excellent kick. Good work the turnover ball. Fed it down there quickly and got it into the danger area. Combination play between Natasha Ferris and Leisha Duffy. Roscommon again retained the short kick out. Kate Nolan taking possession now. Feeds that ball out towards, towards Lisa O'Rourke. <coughs> First possession of the game for Ashling Hanley, wearing that distinctive scrum cap. Uh, Ashling Hanley, she's fouled in possession, and it's going to be Caroline Conway standing over the free now. Caroline Conway plays it short, back inside towards Kate Nolan. Kate Nolan sidesteps, sidesteps a tackle, slows the ball up a little bit. Natalie McKibben able to put pressure on, feeds the ball outside now. Chance for Roisin win. Again, it's slow, ponderous build-up. Excuse me, I felt a sneeze coming on there. My apologies, hopefully I didn't deafen anyone at home. Down have forced the turnover again, so that's two Roscommon possessions so far. Both ended in turnovers. Chance now for Megan Doherty to carry the ball out of defence. <coughs> Looking for the long kick towards the half-forward sector. Orla Swale competing with Megan Kelly there. Swale has a little bit of a turn of foot. She's able to get by, but the hand pass doesn't go to hand, and Rachel Fitzmaurice is able to pick up possession. Caroline Conway feeds it out now. Chance for Laura Fleming. She'll be happy to go on a run if she gets a little bit of a head of steam up. Too much pressure on. Instead goes long. Looking for Ashling Hanley. Alice McAlee. Definitely a tough test for McAlee in her debut. Taking on Hanley here. Hanley wins possession but she's forced backwards. Good defensive work from McAlee there. Ball looking to feed inside. Looking for Neve Shanahan who has indeed gone into full forward line. <coughs> 
and uh, doesn't manage to win that ball so down work it out lovely quick hands there from Leisha Duffy she's made a very bright start to this game aside from scoring a point coming back helping out her defence now carries it forward at good pace Saoirse Tiemann not able to catch up with her Leisha Duffy oh a little bit of a high solo she opened the door there for the ball to be robbed and sure enough well stolen there on the Roscommon side good work Good work by Nee Feeney, able to get in there and steal that ball. But again, turnover. Roscommon just aren't managing to get the ball into an attacking position. Long ball forward now from Jessica Foy. Looking for the high delivery. Oh, that's well won inside. It's, oh, that's a harsh call. Sarah Doherty had got away from her marker. And she's entitled to feel more than a little bit hard done by there. Uh, I'll tell you, if she took five steps, that was the absolute height of it. Because it was an excellent high long ball in from 11. Uh, from Jessica Foy. And uh, Sarah Doherty did well to win it. And the over carrying call really, really didn't do her any favours there. As that ball breaks forward. It's going to be a free on the Roscommon side now. Caroline Conway being fouled. Caroline Conway feeds that ball back. So I think it's fair. So we, we can see here on the Roscommon side. Neve Feeney. She is notionally corner forward. She's coming back a sweeper. Strong run from Lisa O'Rourke. Lisa O'Rourke gets her hand pass away to Laura Fleming. It's a tight angle. It's not a good kick. Oh, it loops in over the keeper. It loops in over the keeper. And that's a poor start for Caroline Kennedy. She'll be disappointed with that. Laura Fleming didn't get hold of the shot. I'd say she was going for the, I'd say she was going for the point, to be quite honest. But it just looped in over the head of the goalkeeper, Caroline Kennedy, and Roscommon are off the mark with a goal. So, point to, point to down. Goal to Roscommon. As down, break up the field. Strong run coming in here from Orla Duffy. Orla Duffy feeds it into Jessica Foy. Chance for a down reply straight away. Natasha Ferris tries to get away, but really brave work there in the goal from Helena Cummins. That was a strong break from down. Carried the ball down the central channels. Really good, powerful running. Jessica Foy fed it into Natasha Ferris. Natasha could have taken it on herself. Instead, she decided she was going to look for the hand pass. Orla Swale was there on the scene. Sarah Doherty was there on the scene. But brave, brave work from... Um, from Helena Cummins in the Roscommon goal, got out, took the hit. Well, certainly she's uh, a <coughs> Helena Cummins. She's a very, very strong shot stopper. She's very, very brave. Some would say there's other areas of her game wouldn't be quite as strong as that. But when it comes to actually protecting the goal in that sense, she's absolutely outstanding, and she definitely earned her corn there. As the hand pass goes backwards from Rachel Brady, and now fed out here towards Rachel Fitzmaurice. Fitzmaurice, plenty of pace, but doesn't put that hand pass where it needs to go. It's gone away from Kate Nolan, and the hand pass goes inside. Another possession here now for Jessica Foy. Carried in by Foy, possible hand on the jersey there, a pull from Caroline Conway, not given by the referee, and now Laura Fleming carries it out. There's a chance of a breakaway here, but uh, you'd have to say Roscommon, they're not exactly breaking at pace here. There's a couple of players forward. Neve Shanahar is there. Ashling Hanley is there. The ball is fed in towards Ashling Hanley. Hanley on her shoulder. She on her shoulder. She's got Fiona Tully. Fiona Tully now collects possession. Tully, well known for her handball exploits as well as in ladies football. Ball back inside towards Ashling Hanley. Shoots under pressure. Good pressure there from Alice McAlee. Oh, the ball breaks to Lisa O'Rourke at the far post. Low shot, Lisa O'Rourke. Goal, Lisa O'Rourke. She just sneaked in behind. Gathered that ball, as I said, strong physical presence. Was able to gather that ball at the far post. Low shot inside the near post of Caroline Kennedy. And Roscommon are off the mark with two goals straight away. So a really good start for the Connacht County here. Down, need to bounce back. They've had more than enough possession. They just haven't made it count to the same extent. Cara McCardle, long ball down towards Sarah Doherty. Sarah Doherty now, she's going a little bit lateral. But now she's beginning to break gain ground breaking inside Anya McGrath still no scoring opportunity opening up however and it looks like there's been a foul decided there I'm not sure if it was against Neve Feeney or if it was against Anya McGrath but either way the run from Sarah Doherty it was somewhat it was a somewhat circuitous route to goal she took it I would say in the left half forward position brought it forward into the right corner but uh, eventually draws the foul and the free comes in from Jessica Foy and Jessica Foy, as you would expect from that position, um, taps the ball over the bar. 
So we wait for the kick out and so far Helena Cummins has gone short at most of her kick outs. I'm not sure if that was the intended destination but Kate Nolan won it well. Caroline Conway tries to get over it. Ball won by Lisa O'Rourke. <coughs> and not for the first time referee given a charging call. He's made it clear that uh, he's not he's made it clear that you can't barge into a tackle. So now down take possession of midfield again. A little bit of homework being done by David Hurston there. Puts Lisa O'Rourke's name in the book. It's not an official yellow card, but uh, she'll have to watch herself with the Castlery midfielder. Ball being carried forward now by Orna Kelly. Orna Kelly takes the ball into the tackle. Kate Nolan stands her up. Caroline Conway comes in to help. Ball is forced back. That's good defensive pressure on the Roscommon side. Currently just two Roscommon players outside of their own 45. That's Neve Shanahan and Ashling Hanley. Still space found by Leisha Duffy, however. Leisha Duffy decides not to shoot. Instead comes back towards Orla Swale. Pressure being put on there by the Roscommon side. They don't force the turnover, but they do force the change of gears. Down now have to reset. Go lateral. Try and find another pocket of space somewhere. Cara McArdle swings that ball wide. Now they try and build up on the left wing. Lovely jinking run here. Really well, really well done. Orna Kelly again taking the ball forward. Now the reset comes. Megan Doherty feeds it backwards. Again, we're gone, we're gone very, very lateral. We're going from right to left to left to right. Still no real penetration on the downside here. Orla Swale decides I'm going to take it on. Shoots from a very tight angle. Doesn't quite wrap a right boot around it. And that's a second wide of the game. Second wide of the game on the downside. So it's all about efficiency so far. Roscommon realistically. They've only had about four or five possessions. They've had two what you would call attacks. Turn them both into goals. Oh, breaking ball here now. Chance for Leisha Duffy to pounce. Gets inside. She's already struck one point, but she drops that one short. Doesn't matter. There was an advantage being played for a push. And you'd have to expect this is going to be another chance here for Jessica Foy to tap that ball over the bar. Jessica Foy, of course, uh, full time, recently signed up, signed on as the first... Um, the first paid professional female soccer player in Northern Ireland with Glen Torn AFC and uh, it shows her dedication to the down cause. She made sure it was written into her contract that she could keep playing in the red and black colours and uh, sure enough, she's she well, it was never a question of justifying her existence. She has more than done that time and again for down with some fantastic performances down the years. But uh, she made sure she wasn't going to she wasn't going to abandon her home county and uh, she's off the mark straight away with two frees here. So down, they're not quite back on terms yet, but uh, they'll feel they're settled more into this game. Three points to two goals. Helena Cummins just goes for pure distance with the kick out. Caroline Conway reads it well. Now chance for Fiona Tully. Fiona Tully putting the head down and charging, but she was just too far behind. Orna Kelly is able to get in and win it. Kelly feeds the ball out towards Orla Duffy. Ah, oh, good, accurate ball down the sideline. Leisha Duffy has been all over the place here so far. Has been the key performer. She's won another free here. Advantage being played. You have to suspect the advantage is over now at this stage. Carries it inside. Left-footed kick from Leisha Duffy. It's go is it going to drop short? is going to be pulled wide the umpire's arms are outstretched and it's a third down wide but there's no question who has been the main threat in the down attack so far Leisha Duffy has carried that ball forward with intent she has already put her name on one point so far in this game as again we go for the long kick out and I think it's actually the first time the down have actually won the Roscommon kick out there. Ball fed into Megan Doherty. Megan Doherty works it forward. Duffy takes it on. Duffy is being fouled. I suspect that Saoirse Tiemann could come into um, Saoirse Tiemann could come into a little bit of trouble there now if she keeps because there's been a couple of infringements against her. Long ball in. Down goal chance. Down goal. Brilliantly done by Sarah Doherty. Jessica Foy fired the free in and Sarah, and Sarah Doherty Cut in from that corner. And uh, we're coming back now for a throw ball. It's actually a free and quickly done again by Jessica Foy. Ball inside. Brilliant save by Helena Cummins. It's all happening here. Ball comes back out now towards Orla Swale. Feeds it towards the far post. And we're going to have a square ball infringement. Whew, they're really not giving me a chance to draw breath here at all. So we're back on level terms here. The goal from Sarah Doherty. And it could have been another one straight away after it. 
showed great awareness. She came across on the, she came across to attack the ball. Just got a touch on it to take it away from the defender. The ball broke in front of the goalkeeper. She just was brave. She put her body on the line. She got that little toe poke to touch the ball past Helena Cummins. And uh, that was all that was needed to get down back on level terms here. Goal and three points to down. Two goals to Roscommon. Now, Roscommon on the attack again. Rachel Fitzmaurice looking for Ashling Hanley. Ashling Hanley goes down, but that's really well done by Alice McAlee. Ah, oh, that's unlucky now on the corner back there. I have to say, I thought she got down. It was a legitimate ball. That was, she was entitled to try and contest it. But uh, either way, David Hurston's opinion is the only one that matters. Saoirse Tymon takes possession. And again, that's, a, that's definitely the theme for the afternoon. That's a third free for charging on the player in possession. All against Roscommon. But certainly, it's been, uh, it's been well earmarked that it's coming as Natasha Ferris takes possession now. Ferris plays that ball out wide. Leisha Duffy. We know she'll be happy to shoot off her left. Duffy. It's close. It's on the line of the post. It actually drops short. Orla Swale takes possession. Little drop kick. Goal down. Goal for down. I'm not sure if it was what she intended because the ball hit the deck. It was a sort of like an accidental drop kick. But either way, it doesn't matter how it worked out. It's a goal for down and it is all change here. Suddenly, we were at a situation where it was Roscommon two goals down a single point. Now it's down 2-3, Roscommon two goals. And all the pressure coming down at this right-hand side of the ground where down are attacking. Caroline Conway gets that ball across. Fiona Tully, I think it's the first time she's had possession. Another girl who's very, very happy to carry the ball. Looks to feed that ball down. Caroline Conway takes it at the second attempt. Conway, a little bit of a push coming in the back there. Kind of unlucky on Cara McArdle. Defenders everywhere hate that, where the forward just pulls the brakes and uh, they end up running through the back of them. But look, as they say, it's a part of Gaelic football. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> it's just part of it. They've learned to live with it. Ball across now towards Lisa O'Rourke. Nee Feeney makes the run to collect the return pass. O'Rourke doesn't give it. O'Rourke instead fires that ball across towards Ashling Hanley. Left boot from Ashling Hanley. And... Uh, there you go. Eventually the flag is waved. I wasn't completely sure from this viewpoint. As we break for the water break here. Or an injury stoppage. Either way, it's the same net effect because we have an injured player down on the Roscommon side. But the point has been given by from Ashling Hanley. So that's between the posts. And you'd have to say it was a settling score that Roscommon badly needed because uh, Down had completely taken over here. They were making their attacks pay as, as the rain starts to come down heavily here. Um, I can't quite tell. I think it's probably Rachel Brady who was the player who was down hurt. Actually, no, it was Laura Fleming. It was Laura Fleming. So uh, certainly Ollie Lennon would be very, very eager that she'd continue... And yeah, we definitely break for a water break here. Uh, I suspect that, um, of course, it was this game last year which uh, w went went slightly viral across <laughs> across the internet when uh, Down were playing in Kil Down and Roscommon were playing in Kiltoom, and uh, referee Kieran Groom brought a quite um, well. I won't say he allowed a reasonable amount of time for the water break, but either way. He decided that Roscommon weren't back on the field quick enough and he was happy to get let down, go let down, begin the game again and kick the ball into an empty net. So uh, on that occasion, it didn't really matter. Roscommon were comfortable winners, five goals and 15 points to four goals and nine points on that occasion. But uh, certainly, you'd have to say, this is a fixture that actually in recent years, it has gone with home advantage. Uh, I think about three years ago, two or three years ago, they would have played in the Boran Club and uh, a very, very comfortable win for Down on that occasion. So Down will be hoping that again it goes with home advantage here this afternoon as the short kick out goes to Alice McAlee. Played wide out towards Cara McCarden now and worked up the sideline. Orla Duffy has found herself little gaps to be able to pick up loose ball. And again, Down carry the ball forward. McAlee now feeds that ball into traffic but a lovely turn of pace from all Orla Swale her confidence will be high after that goal gets the ball back towards Leisha Duffy probably a little bit outside of range still links up with Swale again 
it's tight there's plenty of Roscommon tacklers on the scene comes back now towards Natasha Ferris she'd be somebody who probably would have a little bit more range on her kick if she decided to give it no but instead ball is fed back inside Orla Duffy now Duffy of course one of three players on this starting team who came so so close to winning an Ulster club medal with Breda this year it was an absolutely dramatic Ulster final series final and replay against Dunamine but uh, didn't quite happen for the down club on that occasion but look they'll They'll take the lessons of Kilku. Kilku cl came close, would have knocked on the door in Ulster, knocked on the door in the All-Ireland Series. And, of course, that fantastic and memorable victory yesterday evening at Croke Park. So, Breda will no doubt be thinking along similar lines and feel that the same thing could be in store for them. As that free is taken by J Natasha Ferris and swung between the posts to put down back three points in front, 2-4 two to 2-1. Two Helena Cummins again now gives it plenty of airs. Looking for Lisa O'Rourke. Oh, that's fantastic hands at midfield. Really well done by Megan Doherty. Ball worked outside here now towards Jessica Foy. Jessica Foy carries the ball in. Looks to try and dink that pass in, but it's a very, very tight space. Not able to thread it through. Rachel Brady carries it forward. Rachel Brady now feeds it out towards Kate Nolan and Caroline Conway working the ball through the middle. Nolan. Oh, that's a powerful block. Really well done by Orla Duffy. She's been hugely influential. This right flank in general with Duffy at half back and... and um, Leisha, uh, Orla Duffy at half-back, Leisha Duffy at wing forward, been really, really strong. And I've suddenly realised that uh, if I had my research done, I'd be able to tell you whether or not they're sisters. I don't know. I'm going to Google that at half-time and I will confirm for you. Or feel free to tweet if you wish and confirm for me. Uh, I hadn't actually looked at that, but I just realised two Duffy girls from the Breda Club could possibly be the case who knows either way ball forward Alice McAlee taking possession here now down really monopolising possession they've taken control Orla Duffy carries it forward Megan Doherty now lovely looping run over the top by Jessica Foy she's in behind she's brought to ground there by Rachel Fitzmaurice and it's just a question of how the referee interprets this Rachel Fitzmaurice leaned in it's as if he's signalling as if it's a push and it's going to be a penalty it's going to be a penalty. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a yellow card. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a penalty. because. But there's no doubt. Look, it was a goal chance. The hand pass over the top in towards 11. Jessica Foy. And uh, she was brought to ground there by Rachel Fitzmaurice. I wouldn't say it was the most aggressive tackle in the world. But it was still enough to make sure that uh, it killed the momentum of the carried off player. And so we're waiting for the penalty here. Referee having a little bit of a chat, chat with Helena Cummins. Presumably something along the lines of don't don't step off your line until you until the kick is taken. And it's going to be Jessica Foy taking the taking the penalty kick herself. So down, they've come from five points behind. Foy with the penalty kick. It is inch perfect, as you would expect from a soccer international. Placed right into the bottom corner. And suddenly 21 minutes gone in this game. And down are in a commanding position. Three, six points ahead. 3-4 to 2-1. And you'd have to say they have been the dominant side. A little bit of sloppy possession in the Roscommon back line. Rachel Brady tries to carry it out. And eventually it's a free... There is no way that free went 15 meters or went 13 meters, but look, it's not given anyway. And now Caroline Conway looks for the long ball, looks for Fiona Tully. I have to say, there's bigger players on the Roscommon team than Fiona Tully, so maybe the high ball into her wasn't the best effort in the world. As we're coming back for a free at midfield, pull on the jersey. At least I think he's signalling a pull on the jersey. Either that or his own jersey is tucked in too tight and he's freeing it up. I'll go with the former assessment, probably more likely. As we look at there's a substitution on the Roscommon team as they try and sh shore things up. Rosha Lennon. Rosha Lennon comes into the side. And I'll be interested to see who's being replaced. The players don't seem to know. Probably no huge surprise to see Saoirse Tymon going off. Um... She was having a really, really tough afternoon of it there so far. Really struggling against Leisha Duffy. So Roscommon trying to shore up that position. Rosha Lennon, of course, uh, joins Megan Kelly on the team. The two representatives now from the, uh, 
from the county champions, Clonagail. That's a good turnover on the Roscommon side. Kate Nolan wins it. Exchange of hand passes there with Neve Feeney. Now Roscommon try and carry the ball out. Neve Feeney holds the ball up. Not sure where exactly your options are. Manages to get it away before the over-carrying call is given. Caroline Conway now to Nolan, but down getting plenty of players back. Ball fed wide there now by Caroline Conway, but again doesn't go to hand. Fiona Tully trying to win it. Fiona Tully fighting there, but there's two down players on the scene. And down managed to win the ball. Oh, the hand pass just unlucky there. Alice McAlee was blocked by the referee. And Laura Fleming is able to come in and pick it up. Chance now for Escommon feeding that ball across. It's actually number 27. It's Sorry, my apologies. It's actually number 27, Ashling McAuliffe, who's gone in. Shot coming in there from Lisa O'Rourke and it's forced wide of the target. That's a first Roscommon wide of the game. I probably should have realised that because Rosha Lennon would be more well known for playing maybe in a centre forward or half forward role midfield at a push. And uh, Ashley McAuliffe of course would be a more traditional defender. Very, very solid defender. Very sharp in the tackle. Missed some time with Roscommon football when she was away out in Australia, but came back, the Strokestown native, and she's uh, came back and has been struggled to maybe get her place in the starting team since coming back, but certainly has been a key member of the panel all the same, regular coming off the bench. Short kick out there, well worked. Alice McAlee picks it up. B ball fumbled by Orna Kelly. Chance for Roscommon to try and get in and win it, but it's deemed a foul by Fiona Tully and downwind possession again, and McAlee takes possession again. High looping hand pass now. Chance for Orla Duffy to carry the ball forward, as she has done so many times in this game. There's a hand got in there, and uh, ball won at the second attempt. Pushed by Rachel Fitzmorris on Jessica Foy. I don't think actually it was being given for that. I think it was a prior foul. And uh, so, and that makes a little bit of a difference because on the edge of the D, you'd suspect that Down would have the range. Uh, maybe not Jessica Foy, but you'd say certainly Natasha Ferris would probably have the range from the edge of the D. If we're coming back out now to about maybe 38, 39 metres from goal, um, this is definitely pushing it a bit farther. Though it looks like she's going to have a go. Uh, remains to be seen. She might decide I can steal some yards. Sure enough, she does. She brings it in, steals the yards, but it still drops short. So, like that, the extra few yards made all the difference. Ball being carried out now by Neve Feeney, and it's a first touch for Ashling McAuliffe. McAuliffe, she's carrying it into a very tight position here on the sideline, but she's very physically strong. Gets the ball back to Feeney now again, but there's very few options up front. Ball worked back inside now. Chance for Rachel Fitzmaurice to carry the ball forward. She's been on the back foot, marking Jessica Foy so far. Can she do something in the offensive sense as well? Long ball floated forward. Fiona Tully gets out in front of her marker. Manages to win it. It's a standing start though, so she won't be able to get a run up and instead pushes it back towards Ashley McAuliffe. McAuliffe, a lot of hesitation. Pressure coming on there. Aoife Keown trying to get the tackle in. McAuliffe, there's an advantage being played here. Will she just put her boot through it? No, just holds the ball up. So instead we're coming back for the advantage. And you'd suspect this will be a free opportunity. Either Laura Fleming or... Ashling Hanley will take this on. Based on the side of the pitch, you'd say Laura Fleming with the right boot more so. As we have another substitution on the downside. <coughs> and it looks like, could Nat Natasha Ferris be going off? If she is, that's a huge blow to down because um, I didn't notice any injury on her part, but uh, it'll be a significant one as Laura Fleming floats in that free and puts it between the posts. So I'll identify that substitute as soon as I see. It's number 18, Amy Green comes onto the team. So Amy Green, the Taconict player, she comes into the side as Down try and work that ball out. So maybe that might open the door for Roscommon a little bit. As Roscommon secured the turnover, Ashling Hanley, oh, that's a poor hand pass. And it's easily cut out there by Una Lavery. Good cover. Good cover from Lavery at midfield. High ball out now to her midfield partner, Megan Doherty. Ball being worked up the sideline. Hand pass doesn't quite go where you'd want it to fall, but at the same time, it's recovered by Orla Duffy. Orla Duffy now. Again, advantage being played here. Orla Duffy, she spills that ball, but we're going to come back for the advantage. 
And again, it's a free out of range, but it's a free not too dissimilar to this that led to Sarah Doherty's goal, which was such a turning point in this game. When at that stage, Roscommon were three points up and feeling in a good position. Ball inside towards Leisha Duffy. Left-footed hooked kick from Leisha Duffy. Oh, she's pulled it wide of the posts again. And that's a fourth down wide in this half. As it's still 3-4 to, I'm going to say 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to say 2-2. Two, two. The scoreboard is showing 2-1, but uh, I'll get that verified. But I'm fairly sure Laura Fleming's free was over the bar. And again, that's a very interesting substitution on the downside because Leisha Duffy, who I won't lie, would have been my player of the match contender so far. She's being withdrawn. And uh, for her, in comes Anna Marie McGee. Chance now for Orla Swale shooting from a tight angle. I'd say she's got that one. Sure enough, the umpires go for the flag. And down six point lead is restored. Now, again, I say it's 3 5 to 2 1 on the scoreboard here. So I'll have to get that verified, but I'm fairly confident Laura Fleming's point went over. Definitely the umpires went for the flag. I didn't check if the referee went into his notebook, however. But either way, play continues. Ball being brought forward. Now Roisin Wynn hasn't really had a chance to do much on the ball yet. Rachel Fitzmaurice plays the ball into Kate Nolan, but she has to reset and go backwards. Plenty of down defenders there on the scene. So we'll have to, we'll have to establish too as well what happened with Leisha Duffy because... Uh, even the way she moved off the field didn't look like she was injured. The high ball coming in there from Kate Nolan, but Neve Shanahan doesn't really have the strength to... She really needed to show a little bit more strength in there under that high ball. That's the type of ball she'd be looking for, but uh, she was easily pushed off there by the fullback. Short kick out coming now from Caroline Kennedy to Alice McAlee. That, hand, that pass goes astray, however, it's lucky. It just breaks for Jessica Foy, but well won there. Didn't see an awful lot wrong with that now. Just saw two players contesting a ball, but didn't really change anything. Rachel Fitzmaurice had possession anyway, as Kate Nolan again looks for the long ball. Again looking for Neve Shanahan. Neve Shanahan with the touch. Neve Shanahan with the goal. And Roscommon are right back in this. And that's why the big Kilbride player was named at full forward here for this one. She offers that physical presence in close to goal got the vital touch and that's an absolutely crucial score from Roscommon's point of view so down look to build another attack suddenly just three po suddenly three points between the sides and yes the scoreboard has been corrected so three five to three two good to know I'm not going completely insane when I said I thought that one was over the bar I was beginning to doubt myself there Caroline Conway takes that and again the free for charging It's certainly been a theme now. I would say of the four infringements, that's the one that's the most clear cut. Caroline Conway, I'd say her elbow was high as she went in on that. And the down player, who I haven't quite been able to make out. Haven't quite been able to make out who it is, but um, we'll identify now in a second. But uh, certainly Caroline Conway, again, very strong player, was nearly 10 years away from the inter-county scene before coming back, playing with Ballyboden Wanderers in Dublin. Decided to return to the decided to return to the inter county game, and has been a strong presence in the panel over the past couple of years. So we're still waiting for the injury treatment here. And it looks like Jessica Foy was the one who actually took the hit. So uh, certainly, <laughs> Down would be very very eager that. Um, that she doesn't doesn't go off with an injury because they've already lost two absolutely crucial attackers to their cause. As Foy carries this ball forward, Rachel Fitzmaurice tries to sneak in and get the rob. Can't quite do it. Foy works her way out from two tacklers. Caroline Conway forces the spill, however, and Megan Kelly is able to get in and scoop and scoop the ball up. So Roscommon looking to build on this little bit of momentum they have now. Again, Ashling McAuliffe takes possession. Long ball for McAuliffe, looking for Ashling Hanley. Hanley's going for that ball. It's going to be a hard contact. Hanley gets there first. Gets there ahead of Cara McArdle. Turns inside. Left-footed kick from Ashling Hanley. That is absolutely beautiful strike. Curved in from the wrong side from a left-footed kicker. But she is just such a natural finisher of the ball. And she swings that between the posts. 
so suddenly just two points between the sides and you'd have to say Roscommon would feel that they're probably fortunate to only be within two to be within two points because down have been by far they've dominated possession here and they've had more chances ball being carried out now by Amy Green Amy Green's first touch of the first touch of the ball here gets it across towards Alice McAlea who has been very very involved you can see why she's rated so highly uh, of course Ulster club all-star last year very very or Ulster all-star I should say last year very influential player and a really really bright prospect for Ronan McCartan and his management team long ball forward into Orla Swale now Orla Swale being squared up by Megan Kelly she decides to come backwards down look to build up another attack leading by two points Again, they go backwards. At this stage now, there's only one Roscommon player in the opposition half, which is Ashling Hanley. Fiona Tully is the next farthest player forward, and she's 60 metres out from her own goal. Alice McAlea now. Right-footed pass. It goes a little bit astray. However, Roscommon get the turnover with Laura Fleming, and now it's out there towards Lisa O'Rourke. Fleming and O'Rourke combining, linking up, carrying that ball forward. O'Rourke, that long, loping stride, gets it back in. They've now swapped passes... I'd say six times at this stage and O'Rourke now she's bottled up the five closest players to her are all wearing red and black jerseys Kate Nolan now Roscommon really need to put width on this Nolan looks for the long ball again Shanahar gets up and wins it Shanahar feeds it across to Hanley low shot by Hanley what a save what a fantastic save eh, by Caroline Kennedy Roscommon at the next attempt Laura Fleming's shot is short so certainly that's a fantastic save by the Lock and Island goalkeeper young teenager in goals she wouldn't have been particularly happy with the first goal that went in but she more than made up for it there brilliant save to deny Ashling Hanley got down low made herself big got a foot on the ball and that preserves Downs half time lead it's a vital save and potentially a game changer but you'd have to say this one could go either way. The scores coming in thick and fast at either end of the ground. And the goals definitely flying. We've had goals on the Roscommon side for Lisa O'Rourke, Laura Fleming and Neve Shanahar. On the down side, goals for the two corner forwards, Sarah Doherty and Orla Swale. Then that penalty from Jessica Foy when she herself was dragged down by Rachel Fitzmaurice. Three goals and five points to three goals and three points. The rain is coming down here at Park Esler. The flags are perfectly still, so there's no wind advantage to speak of. But two points, you'd have to say, this game is absolutely right in the balance. Tense drama here in the Little Ladies National Football League. First round game in Division 3. Delighted to have you here with us. And hopefully you'll be back with us in 10 minutes time as we bring you the second half.
Welcome back to Park Esler here in Newry. Uh, the rain has stopped temporarily, but it's still very, very wet and slick out there as we prepare to resume in this little ladies' national football league division 3A clash between Down and Roscommon. The home side here at Park Esler leading by two points, 3-5 to 3-3. Three, three. And there's been another change. I just took a second there to pause just to see that substitution on the Roscommon side. And it's number 24, Sinead Kenny, who would have captained the side last year, coming in for number two, Anya McGrath, at half time. So, underway again here in the second half. Down, kick, this, kick the play off, working the ball down here in towards the left hand corner. Orla Swale trying to come across and win it. But good sweeping play there from Neofini, picks up the ball, and Roscommon will try and work the ball out of this tight corner. Ball fed forward towards Caroline Conway, doesn't go to hand and Roscommon are lucky that Lisa O'Rourke is able to get in there and win it gets down picks up possession and she looks up and surveys her options very powerful physical player won't be easily dispossessed links up with Caroline Conway again and back inside now Roisin Wynn and Roscommon in midfield Kate Nolan looks for high and long delivery I think I mentioned earlier in the first half about Fiona Tully not being the tallest player on the team and sure enough they go high for her again but it breaks on Roscommon's side. Laura Fleming now comes back onto her favourite right foot, feeds it back inside towards Kate Nolan. Nolan shoots from distance, that's possibly pushed wide is it? It is, it's just pushed out wide right on the posts. So the first scoring chance of the second half goes the way of the Connacht County and it's 3-5 to 3-3 still with Caroline Kenny standing over the kick out here. Kenny goes short. Oh, that's a dangerous one. She was looking for Corna Kelly. Didn't find her. Ball back inside towards Fiona Tully. Tully now. Hand pass inside. Lisa O'Rourke. She has a goal already. Will she get a second one? Oh, she's pushed it wide of the target. That was a glorious chance for the Castlery player. I'm not sure what the referee is signalling in here. It's like he's talking to his officials. Possibly it's going to be a 45 for a touch from a defender. Uh, umpire has his hand out, so we'll have to wait to get clar clarity here. David Hurston talking to his officials. But the kick out was the root cause of the problem there. Caroline Kennedy tried to find Orna Kelly and uh, didn't, quite hit the, didn't quite hit the mark. There was a turnover ball and it was fed inside. And uh, yeah, sure enough, it's a 45 that we're going to be looking for here. And the 45 is going to be taken by the 45 is going to be taken by Laura Fleming. Fleming goes short. A little bit of a nudge in the back, I'd say there. Yeah, sure enough, Kate Nolan goes to ground. The nudge came in from Natalie McKibben. And uh, it's going to be a free to Roscommon and should be a scoreable one. Laura Fleming stands on the edge of the D. She'll take it about three or four yards in. Fleming with a goal and a point in the first half already. Steps in. Good solid kick. Has she pushed it wide? She has. Not an impressive kick whatsoever. Has to be said, Laura Fleming, she is definitely one. And it, it's also announced that there was another half-time down sub there and Vivian McCormack, Viv McCormack is coming in, um, or came in, I should say, at half-time as that kick comes in there and is put between the posts to cut the gap back to a single score. 3-5 to 3-4. Viv McCormack comes in to replace Anna-Marie McGee. So Anna-Marie McGee doesn't last long on the side. She was replaced at half-time and suddenly we have just a point between the sides here. Longer kick out this time and down retain us through Caroline Kennedy. Really well done. Down working forward. Jessica Foy comes in possession now. Worked out here. Foy carrying the ball side to side. Looks for the hand pass forward. Megan Doherty now takes possession. Little bit of space opening in front of her. Orla Duffy makes the run off the shoulder. Can't quite get the pass away. Instead ball fed out here towards Aoife Kion. Aoife Kion now worked towards the right hand side. It's a tight angle here now as Down try and work it in and we're going to come back for the free on the right hand side. Just to update as well at half time. Um, just to update as well at half time. Loud leading Sligo. I think I may have misled you early on. I thought Fermanagh were in this division but obviously Fermanagh got relegated last year. Uh, replaced by Loud. 
So Loud going very, very well. Four points up on Sligo at half time in the other game in this little group. As that free comes in from Jessica Foy but is pushed wide. A sixth down wide so far. Down and Loud, of course, taking each other, taking on each other in what's a local derby next. Or sorry, no, Down and Loud is the final week. Uh, it'll be Down against Sligo next week. High kick coming in here from Sarah Doherty. Pressure was coming on by Roisin Wynn. And uh, Sarah Doherty feels it could be a 45. Doesn't look like she's getting an awful lot of sympathy from the officials. As Helena Cummins plays that kick out. Well worked finds Lisa O'Rourke she does that kind of hand pass over her head that she's used so frequently and uh, I suppose why wouldn't you when you're head and shoulders above most other players robbed by down however Jessica Foy sneaks in hand pass coming across here first touch for Viv McCormick ball inside chance now for down block down it was a goal chance there for Orla Swale but there was a lot of scamming bodies on the scene and uh, oh that's a sloppy hand pass from Caroline Conway down will get a chance to build up another attempt or another attack I should say so first touch of the game for Viv McCormick and she almost set up a goal chance straight away as Cara McCardle tries to carry this ball forward. Spills it, recovers and works it out here now. Down have enjoyed plenty of possession in this half but the only score of the half so far has come from Kate Nolan on the Roscommon side. Ball worked out here. Megan Doherty has found a bit of space coming in off the sideline. Doherty feeds that ball into Aoife Keown. High hit from Rachel Fitzmaurice. And Rachel's going to have to be careful here now because she's had a couple of fouls against her in this game. Obviously, it was her foul that led to the penalty. I wouldn't have said any one of them was worthy of a yellow card in its own right, but uh, cumulative effect and all that. And uh, the last free from Jessica Foy was probably just a little bit outside of range of the centre forward. And uh, this time, she'll probably feel that she can try and she won't have to force her kick as much it's on the perfect position for left footed kicker swings that kick in and sure enough it's straight between the posts a goal and three points all from dead balls for Jessica Foy so far in this game 3-6 to down 3-4 to Roscommon Helena Cummins again puts her boot through it looks to go long down go in sweep up swoop in and win it oh well done at the second attempt by Roisin Wynn and down or Roscommon recycle the ball Ashling McAuliffe trying to take the ball into the tackle now Ashling McAuliffe is being fouled and it's going to be a Roscommon free maybe 10, 10 metres inside their own 65 metre line Rachel Fitzmaurice goes short feeds it to Megan Kelly and you'd have to say it's going to be a chance for Down to reset their defence here. Roscommon try and build up the attack. Very tight tight field on the left, left wing. Ball being carried forward now. Oh, wonderful tackle. Oh, that's unlucky. I have to say it looked to me like an absolutely perfect tackle. Really well timed by the Down player. Uh, I'll identify who it is in a minute. It was Lisa O'Rourke carrying the ball forward for Roscommon. I think could actually have been Sarah Doherty coming back from corner forward. Making a lie to the whole, it was indeed, making a lie of the whole logic of uh, a forwards tackle. Laura Fleming and Ashling Hanley linking up. Ashling Hanley has kicked two points already. Swings her left boot at this one, puts it between the posts. Really good finish by the teenage Kilbride corner forward. And she's put, them, put just a point between the sides again, 3-6 to 3-5. This was a high scoring game last year. It's... Already well on course to be a very high scoring game again this year. These two sides, whatever it is, whether they both just like to attack. Completely different managements, but nothing has changed. Both Ronan McCartan and Ollie Lennon in their first year in charge of the side. As Down try and build this ball out. Ashling McAuliffe trying to put the pressure on Cara McArdle. There's a Down player in acres of space here is Amy Green. Will they get the ball forward to her? Orla Swale now takes possession. Swale looks to take off with Sinead Kenny trying to put the pressure on. But she misses the hand pass under pressure. Roisin Wynn sweeps in. Chance for a scamming to break now. Laura Fleming hasn't really got one of her trademark runs going so far this afternoon. Ball fed out towards the left wing. Lisa O'Rourke plays it down into Ashling Hanley. Hanley has done really well this afternoon, but the pressure's coming in. Lovely tackling on the downside. Hanley tries to get the hand pass away. Again, linking up and too tight. Too many down bodies back. Turnover is secured. And now the home side try and break. Sarah Doherty takes possession. Sarah Doherty looking to run at Ashling McAuliffe. McAuliffe backs up and the turn of pace, the little burst of acceleration from Doherty is enough to get her past. Jessica Foy works the ball back inside. High ball being kicked in. Oh, that's a nothing pass, really. 
It wasn't a pass, it wasn't a shot, it was going nowhere in particular. I think it came in from Una Lavery, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, uh, either way, it doesn't matter. Sinead Kenny carrying the ball out for a scrum. And now, again, the sloppy hand pass, just not going to, just not going into the bread basket of the receiving player. Fiona Tully manages to recover, but it takes all the impetus out of the attack. Caroline Conway now, there's a run from Lisa O'Rourke. She finds her, Lisa O'Rourke takes the hit easily. O'Rourke with the right-footed shot, it's high, it's looping, is it, between the posts? Ah, oh, it's a lovely kick from 35 metres out, and Roscommon are back on terms here. Good, clever movement, Fiona Tully recovered well to set up that move. And a really good run and kick from Lisa O'Rourke to draw the sides level. This game really could go any direction. There are scores in both these teams. Una Lavery now dinks that ball forward. Jessica Foy got in behind the back line. Nee Feeney tries to cover. Nee Feeney manages to force her wide. Well done by the Tulsk player. Foy recovers, however. Gets it back to Megan Doherty. Left-footed kick from the down captain. Oh, she's pushed it wide of the target. A third wide of the half. That's an eight wide overall. Down may live to regret those wides as we look, and there's another substitution coming in here. We're going to see it looks like number 20, which is Ashley Cull. Uh, So just to confirm there, two substitutes on the downside. Orla Swale has made way, as has um, Natalie McKibben. And coming into the side is Paige Smith and Ashling Cull. Ashling Cull came off the bench in this equivalent fixture last year. Paige Smith, uh, newer to the panel, hasn't hasn't made as much of an imp has a chance to make an impact here. Substitution on the Roscommon side as well. As I see Abby Curran gone into the side. Ashling Hanley now feeds the ball in. First touch for Abby Curran. Curran with the left-footed kick. Oh, she's pushed it wide. So Abby Curran has replaced Caroline Conway on the Roscommon side. Not easy to keep up with these substitutions, but we try and do what we can. 12 minutes gone here. Abby Curran, of course, daughter of former Roscommon goalkeeper and... Uh, Let's just call him GA personality, Shane Curran. So, uh, but another very strong performer from the St. Bridget's Club. Roscommon Intermediate Champions in 2020. Had a decent tilt in the Senior Championship this year. Got to a semi-final and a very, very young side. Chance now for down to attack. Ball being carried in. Jessica Foy is making a run in at the far post. But Helena Cummins, she'll gather those up all day. Absolutely no fear in the Michael Glavies custodian. Happy to come out and gather those ones. Some would say Mac Hansen style chasing down a chasing down a drop off there. Kate Nolan now carrying the ball forward. Roscommon trying to go through a little bit of a purple patch here, but that's a brilliant block down. Really well done on the downside. Now this is a glorious chance. Great block by Alice McAlee has set up the attack. Chance now Ashling Cull's first touch of the game. Cull, she's tripped and it's tripped by I think it was Ashley McAuliffe, but either way. Ashling Cull is tripped probably a little bit far out. It's the right side for Jessica Foy to have a tilt at it. But uh, you'd have to say, Barn, there's a little bit of extra power being packed in that left boot. Now it's probably outside of range from here. So Foy plays that ball back inside towards Orla Duffy. Duffy now carries the ball forward. She's within scoring range if she wanted to have a pop at it. Instead looks for the hand pass, looking for Paige Smith. Doesn't go at hand. My apologies. It wasn't Paige Smith. It was Amy Green. Ball now. Jessica Foy again. Controlling the attack. Trying to build this up. Una Lavery with the long ball in. Oh, she's measured it quite well to her club, club colleague, midfield colleague. Megan Doherty. Oh, what a block down. Really well done on the Roscommon side by Megan Kelly. Brilliant block. Carried out of the back line now. Abby Curran certainly will add energy to this side. Laura Fleming now takes possession. She wants the long ball down the sideline. Uh, Ashling Hanley looking for it. Ashling Hanley 
grappling with Orna Kelly and I have to say you now geez, if I was if I was Orna Kelly I'd feel extremely hard done by it didn't look like there was an awful lot of contact there high ball being horsed into the goal mouth and it's easily gathered up there by Caroline Kennedy down try and clear this ball forward now this league clash is absolutely in the balance give away possession Kate Nolan puts her boot on it looking for Neve Shanahan. there's a little bit of a trip there was it accidental I don't know referee says no Deliberate trip from Caroline Kennedy on Neve Shanahan. Neve, of course, powerful physical presence. Wouldn't necessarily be somebody who'd want to be chasing balls into the corner, but as we saw in the first half, when she got that touch, she's abs she's a serious physical presence under a high ball. She was chasing that ball out there, and there was just she ran into Caroline Kennedy, and uh, referee said it was a foul. And it'll be another chance for Laura Fleming. Laura, as we mentioned earlier, making her 100th appearance for Escamon this afternoon. And there'll be a presentation to mark that after the game. Um, obviously, the main thing that St. Kieran's player will be looking for is that she uh, picks up two points and an early win. She'll stand over this free. It has to be said, um, I, don't think she'd, um, I don't think she'd take any offence when I say that... Uh, She's been very effective for Oscommon, but her free-taking has been a little bit patchy in the last while. And obviously, she's missed one so far in this game, and she's also she's also scored one. We have a little bit of a delay here. The referee is actually talking to Caroline Kennedy in the down goal. There's a little bit of paperwork being done, and it's actually a yellow card for Caroline Kennedy. There's a yellow card for the down keeper referee definitely determines that it was a deliberate trip so this is going to be a huge opportunity for down we'll have to see we'll have to see who's going to step up and who's going to be asked to come into goals Maeve Deary obviously would be the obvious one so but the main thing now for the moment the, the key business is Laura is uh, Laura Fleming stepping over the free Fleming kicks it and you can tell by her reaction she's happy with that and Fleming puts it between the posts and Roscommon are back in front. Laura Fleming now with 1-2 to her name in this game. So we still have to see. Down haven't actually brought in a goalkeeper yet. So we'll have to identify what's going to happen there. We had, Like I said, we had a goal in this game last year where... Uh, there was no Roscommon goalkeeper on the field because it came. there was instant restart after a water break. Ball out. Laura Fleming now takes possession. Long range kick coming in here from Lisa O'Rourke. Oh, what a strike. What a strike from Lisa O'Rourke. She's had some game this afternoon. A goal and two points. And we'll see here now who's taking the kick out. It looks like... It looks like down, you'd almost say, are they happy to carry on? No, eventually we have um, Maeve Deary is coming in here. So we just need to see who's making way on the downside. I see Amy Green moving over towards the sideline. So Maeve Deary, oh the kick out is misplaced. Ball to Ashling Hanley. Hanley tries to shoot but it's cleared off the line. Oh, glorious opportunity for us coming there, but instead Down are able to work the ball clear. Car McArdle carries it out. There was a little bit of a nudge on Ashling on uh, Ashling Hanley as she took that shot there. You'd have to say maybe she probably probably should have carried it on. She's a very accomplished soccer player as well. Played Irish international futsal, so she would have been well able to kind of take the ball around the keeper if the need arises down now spreading the ball out you have to imagine the Moran County are going to try and retain possession work the clock down there's two minutes gone on the period on the period of Caroline Kennedy's yellow card ball out here now lovely lovely little dip and sidestep from Aoife Keown feeds that ball inside Alice McAray McAlee has carried the ball forward oh lovely step there by Viv McCormick oh she probably had the chance decided not to take it Paige Smith now Smith hooks the ball with the right foot. Is it going to dip? Oh, it is going to dip. Hesitation from Alina Cummins. And let's call a spade a spade. Fast asleep in the Roscommon back line. And Jessica Foy pounces. Toe pokes that ball in. 
and could that be an absolutely crucial score in this game as we break for the water break you could just see it happening in slow motion just our scamming backline fast asleep Helena Cummins didn't react Jessica Foy was the first one in there got a touch on it and uh, it seems like the referee wants to actually talk to Helena Cummins for some reason not entirely sure why but either way, it's a, sc it's a score, it's a goal, and it's a crucial one. It puts down back in front, 4-6 to 3-8. This game, I've said it so many times, but it is absolutely hanging in the balance here. It could go either way, down by a point, but down, of course, short one player due to that, due to that yellow card for Caroline, Con Caroline Kennedy. So you ask yourself, how is this game going to go? You would have said they were trying to survive, but who needs survival when you go and you... Um, who needs survival when you take a lead like that? The other game in this group, I see Sligo have got a goal in the second half to pull themselves back to within a point. Katie Walsh, the goal scorer. So with two very, very tense games in this division, you really do. You have four games in this group, or you have four teams in this pool, and all four, they're definitely, you could say, relegation and promotion is on the table for all four of them. As we wait for this restart here. There's possibly a little bit more strength on the other pool. You would argue that maybe Wexford and Kildare, who meet, who are meeting this afternoon in Shelmaliers, they'd be the sides that uh, Kildare in particular, very, very progressive, had two very comfortable wins over a Scammon last year. So, uh, or sorry, one comfortable win in the championship over a Scammon last year. Leash beat them comfortably twice. Leash have got promotion, of course. Ashling Hanley now sneaking in behind. Hand pass across. Neve Shanahar is at the far post. It's just a question of whether it's a square ball. It looks, no, sure enough, square ball. They're crossing the flags. They're crossing the flags. It wasn't clear. I thought the referee was going to give it there for a minute. I would have said square ball did look like the right call, but um, as we wait, there's another substitute on the downside here. It could actually be Na Natasha Ferris coming back in, I think, but I'm not sure, or else somebody was just waiting to come back on after an injury. So again, going short of the kick out, Maeve Deary works it out here towards Alice McAlee. Down managed to carry the ball out. It's a risky game, but they're doing it really well. So Natasha Ferris is indeed back in. And there's a straight away she makes an impact, winning a free out on the out on the right hand side. So you just get the feeling that goal, could that be a crucial swing moment in this game? It was so, so preventable from her scamming point of view. I suppose shades of Lisa O'Rourke's in the first half where the defenders just didn't quite concentrate on it. There was a forward sneaking in behind to make a decisive contribution. Lisa O'Rourke probably had a little bit more work to do than Jessica Foy as that free comes in from Foy. She's given it a great chance. She's given it a great chance. She's put it between the posts. Absolutely fantastic strike. So that's 2-4 now for Foy. And that could be a crucial score as it goes to four as it goes to four seven to three eight. Riscommon winning the ball at midfield now. Abby Curran taking possession. Chance for Rachel Fitzmaurice to carry it forward. She's a very, very lithe runner on the ball. Makes eats up the ground easily. Kamogi player as well, of course, much like Aoife Keown on the downside. Ball fed out here. Jenny Higgins has actually made her way into the Riscommon side. As the kick again comes in from Lisa O'Rourke, she was entitled to take the chance. So I'll have to identify Jenny Higgins has gone into the team. Uh, it looks actually like Nee Feeney. No, Nee Feeney is still out there. So I'll have to, as we have two more subs on the downside. And I can definitely, Una Lavery and Orla Duffy are making way. So it's just a question of who has come in. Neve Scullion is one of them anyway. Neve Scullion and Leisha Duffy resumes. Leisha Duffy back in the team again. Oh, 
So actually on the Roscommon side, Jenny Higgins has replaced Fiona Tully. So Jenny Higgins has replaced Fiona Tully on the Roscommon side. As we tick down, there's about six minutes left to play. Down have just a couple more minutes to go on their period of the sin bin. And they'll feel absolutely delighted with how it's gone. When Laura Fleming tapped over the free at, at the start of the sin bin, that put them behind by two points. Or sorry, by one point. And uh, now suddenly they're up by two and on the attack again. Again, much as was the case for a lot of the first half. They're controlling possession. Jessica Foy carrying the ball forward, floats it out to the wing. And so many times in this game, Megan Doherty has just found space out in that part of the field. Feeds the ball forward. Natasha Ferris, the little show and go, gets inside. Is her kick on target? It is on target. That's a lovely strike. I make 100% sure it wasn't Natasha Ferris now before I get it. It actually wasn't. Viv McCormick, Viv McCormick, really brilliant move. And down are on the attack again. They could have this game clean. This is Natasha Ferris with the right foot. And it is the point. And suddenly, all of a sudden, the gap has opened up. 4-9 to 3-8. It is what... Down, beginning to sense like they're striking for home here. Araskaman hitting into that country where they'll need another goal. There have been goals in the game, albeit they haven't come as, as quick and fast in this. Nee Feeney gets blocked down. Great work. Foy and Ferris combining between them. Oh, free out. Roscommon now, the pressure coming on at this stage. They're four points down. We have five minutes and we have maybe five minutes of normal time, plus whatever has to be added on between the water break. As the long ball comes from Ashling McAuliffe. Oh, suddenly Rachel Fitzmaurice in a little bit of space. Ball inside towards Jenny Higgins. Jenny Higgins comes in. Shoot, shot from Jenny Higgins. Top corner from the Clonningale player. Really brilliant strike, Jenny Higgins. And we are right back to a one-point game again. What a finish. Fast break down the left-hand side. Rachel Fitzmaurice fed it inside. And suddenly 4-9 to 4-8. This game is wide open again. Missed hand pass there. Can Roscommon get in and steal? No, excellent defensive cover on the downside. Really well done by Orna Kelly. Down, try and execute the clearance. Oh, I'll tell you, that's a hospital ball. I wouldn't thank you for giving me that pass. But they managed to make something of it. The burst of pace coming on the downside from Paige Smith she's got past Abby Curran Laura Fleming comes back and it said that Paige Smith she was being held there so it's a down free it looked like they were just set to kick for home four, they were gone four points in front but that, that goal from Jenny Higgins absolutely fantastic strike has completely opened it wide, up, opened it wide open again Natasha Ferris kicks it, it's close, it's close, she's got it, she's got it, we have a two point game again, 4-10 to 4-8. She had one point before she went off in the first half. As Kate Nolan makes way on the Roscommon side. And Michaela McHugh comes in. So Roscommon need to try and deliver at le a couple of points, get themselves back into this, maybe strike another goal. Who knows? Rachel Fitzmaurice, she had a key, she had a key part to play in the last goal. Fitzmaurice feeds that ball forward towards Laura Fleming. Fleming just gets a touch on it, keeps it away from. I can't see what was wrong there. It looked like she only made contact with the ball, but either way, it doesn't matter. David Hurston's is the only opinion that matters out there. As we take, there's only about two minutes left to go at this stage. Down should be back up to their full complement, but I'm not sure who actually has come on for them. Whether they've just replaced keepers again, because uh, Maeve Deary is still in between the posts, but we'll keep an eye and we'll see who's gone back on the field. So, so Leisha Duffy with the ball inside. Oh, first touch, not good. It just came at that awkward knee height. And uh, oh, but down win it at the second attempt. Duffy wins it back, gets it there towards Natasha Ferris. Right footed kick drops into the hands of Helena Cummins. Cummins now plays that ball out here towards Laura Fleming. Fleming now, first touch for Michaela McHugh. Another player not 
fantastic runner with the ball, really quick, natural stride. Gets it back towards Laura Fleming, quick exchange of passes. Roscommon have carried it into the down half now at this stage. It's slow progress, but they are working the ball up the field. Roisin Wynn makes a break now, drops the shoulder, goes down the left-hand touchline. No real good options, has to cut inside. Jenny Higgins now, ball into Laura Fleming. Fleming steps inside, low shot Fleming, brilliant save by the keeper. And another chance, to, and another chance for a scum. And uh, um, Rosha Lennon with the chance. Didn't actually even see Rosha Lennon coming into this game. So another substitution we'll have to figure out afterwards. But uh, we'll get it all sussed out. Ball back inside towards Jenny Higgins. There's an overlap on the far side. Higgins hooks the right footed kick. S splits the post with it. So she has made a huge contribution since coming in. 4 10 to 4 9. So down, should be back up to 15 players now at this stage. As uh, It's just a question of who's the other outfielder that's coming in. So number 24, Katrina Caldwell comes in. So 4-10 to 4-9, it is all in the balance here. Jessica Foy, as she has done all game, carries that ball forward. Free some 50 metres out from the Roscommon goal. And it looks like she's pulled up with injury there. And you couldn't, you absolutely couldn't blame her. The biased Offaly man in me is delighted to report that I see Offaly are uh, going well against Carlo. Leading by 110 to 3 points. That game switched from Clara to Balnamere this afternoon, so. But uh, all eyes here on how it, all eyes here on how it goes between them. As Anne Marie McGee Anna Marie McGee comes back into the game for Aoife Kion. So we're ticking on into stoppage time here. Obviously, we have to allow for the water break. Down leading by a single point. Will they be happy to just run the clock down? Try and kill possession here. Alice McAlee takes the ball. Pressure coming on from Rosha Lennon. Rosha Lennon can't quite get the tackle away. Alice McAlee carries it forward. Advantage not advantage over at this stage, and she recycles it backwards. So this is exactly it. Down would be happy to work out the clock. Doesn't matter whether you win by one or win by ten. Oh, Ashling Hanley nearly got in there to steal that. Now Jenny Higgins putting the pressure on Paige Smith. Chance here for Anna Maria McGee to take on the possession. Big high lobbing hand pass. Oh, that's a rash challenge. Rash challenge coming in from Rachel Brady. Came in through the back of Natasha McKibben. It's one of those, it was there to be played for. You can understand why there was a sense of, I need to go and make a play on this ball, but uh, the opportunity wasn't really there, perhaps. As Megan Doherty makes way, after a very, very strong shift from the down captain, Amy O'Higgins coming in for her. So now Jessica Foy stands over this free. I'd say she'd be quite happy to just retain possession here. And sure enough, down, happy to knock the ball out, uh, uh, knock the ball around in the middle third. We're two minutes over at this stage. Roscommon chasing it down, trying to get a, trying to just get one more possession. See, can they force an equaliser? Run forward here from Neve Scullion. Neve Scullion recycles it backward. Natasha Ferris gets the hand pass inside. Down, retaining possession very well. Katrina Caldwell. And again, we're going side to side here. Roscommon are really going to have to push out and force a turnover here. Paige Smith is not going to give this ball away if she's not forced to. Jenny Higgins tries to step up on Cara McArdle. Again, down retaining possession really, really well here. Neve Scullion feeds it across. Has she opened it up? Lisa O'Rourke nearly got the interception, but nearly never boiled the egg, and we're still going here now. 
there's another nearly phrase I could use there, but I, you know, we have some younger listeners, so we won't do that. High ball here, floated across. Chance for down now. Jessica Foy taking possession. Pressure again coming on from Neve Feeney. Down really doing a good job of just killing time here. Roscommon just feel they need one more possession. One more chance to try and sneak a score. Nobody's going to say they would definitely be successful, but they'd want to have a go here. Again down, they just... Roscommon just aren't getting enough pressure on the ball whatsoever. Down are knocking the ball around at their ease. It's gone all the way back to the goalkeeper, Caroline Kennedy, taking possession. But again, Roscommon just have to get a tackle in here. Cara McArdle has it now. Ashling Hanley trying to close her down. McArdle trying to get the hand pass away. Paige Smith looking to run out of the tackle. Paige Smith manages to get the ball away and she's been given for charging. So we have our Roscommon possession here now. What can the what can Ollie Lennon's side do with this? Neve Feeney dinks that ball down towards Jenny Higgins. There's two down tacklers on her. It's a completely different possession this time now. It's not a case of just knock the ball around. You've got to create a score. Ball inside towards Michaela McHugh. Michaela McHugh feeds the ball on. Worked out now towards Ash Ashling Hanley, Ashling Hanley, back, worked out here now. The chance is going to come for Abby Curran. Abby Curran takes the shot and she pushes it wide of the target. And that's it. That makes all the difference. That is the final play of the game. Abby Curran's chance at the end could have salvaged a point for Escommon. It didn't hit the target. It was pushed wide. But you'd have to say a hugely entertaining encounter. Down edge it by a single point. That second half goal from Jessica Foy just before the water break. An absolutely crucial score. A game-turning score here at Park Esler in Newry. It made all the difference because at that stage Roscommon were in the ascendancy. At one stage in the first half they were trailing by seven points. They had come back. They were leading the game by two. Down, were, down had were reduced to 14 players on the field due to the yellow card to Caroline Kennedy. And that goal made all the difference. It gave down something to hang on to. And sure enough, they kick the string of points. Then Viv McCormick with an excellent score. Natasha Ferris with an excellent score. They kick those vital points. Jenny Higgins pulled Roscommon right back into it. But the Roscommon insurance score coming from that Natasha Ferris free, her fourth point of the game, wrapped it up. So it's all over here in Park Esler. First round of the Little Ladies National Football League. It has finished down four goals and ten points. Roscommon four goals and nine points. Next week... Roscommon will travel to play loud. Down will take on Sligo. Crucial fixtures again for both counties. It is really all in the balance. But at the same time, big start for Ronan McCartan in his first start as Down, Se Down Senior Ladies Manager. It's all over here at Newry. I'd like to thank everyone involved everyone involved in the Mac AV production for bringing this game to you thanks for tuning in it's great to be able to bring these games to you if you can't make it for any particular reason obviously COVID is in slight recession thank God and hopefully that continues but one way or another if you can be here it's great to be out at a game and if you can't it's delighted to bring it to you and when you get an entertainment like this why on earth would you not tune in final score here at Park Esler is down 4-10 Roscommon 4-9